Good morning. So sorry for the interruption yesterday. Due technical error, we are unable to organize the class yesterday. So today we'll take off the development of fifth. So coming to the topics of today. Okay. So uh, in the ongoing uh, global situation due to the Russia-Ukraine war, so a lot of doubt has been uh, as emerged in the India-Russia defense cooperation. Because when a country entered into war, so all its efforts, all its attention, all its wealth is diverted towards war. And its relation with other countries, starting from economy to culture, is affected. So in the ongoing situation, as the war in Ukraine stretches over four months with no end in sight, it has given rise to apprehension on Russia's ability to adhere to the timely deliveries of spare hardware that it supplied to as per the Indian defense requirement. When the war began in February, uh, it stated that the Indian armed forces have stock of spares and supplies for 8 to 10 months. That means the supply uh, of spare parts of Russian origin. Because Russia is a major supplier of defense spare parts to India, so we have a reserve which may last uh, for 8 to 10 months. And the expectation was that the war would end quickly. However, as it stretches on with no clear end game, there are apprehension of Russia's ability to adhere to the timely timelines for both spares and well as new deliveries. We have signed uh, so many agreements recently because in 2022, during the visit of the Russian uh, Prime Minister to India, India and Russia signed the agreement for this AK-203 assault rifle. Not only the uh, delivery, but the transfer of technology. Fine. And we have received the first delivery of this sophisticated uh, weapon from Russia before the war started. But right now the war has started and the war is continuing for more than four months. So, and not only this, because India depends upon Russian military supply uh, to a considerable extent, so any defense related uh, problem faced by Russia may have its focus on the supply to India. Fine. So, that's why India is apprehensive right now that whether it will be able to get the timely delivery of the spare parts as well as new defense equipments as per the agreement signed in the past. Responding to questions on this issue early in May, Army Chief acknowledged the Army's dependence on certain weapon systems, especially in the area of air defense, rocket, missiles, and certain tank from Russia and Ukraine. And as far as the immediate impact of concern, the supply chain of certain spares and ammunition has got impacted to some extent. But we have ad adequate stock to last for a reasonable period of time and also looking at certain alternative mitigation measures and identifying alternate sources from friendly foreign countries. While the long term, this is also an opportunity for the private industry to step up production and meet the requirement. Because, you know, uh, since we learned the Make in India initiative, the defense manufacturing under Make in India 
ओके तो डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन ओके सो गेट ए बिग बूस्ट इवन व्हेन यू अलाउड एफडीआई इन डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन it has contributed substantially to make india somehow to manifest its best in this direction and the private this this particular situation may give a scope to the private sector to venture into more and more defense production to uh, make india atmanirbhar fine for atmanirbhar bharat fine so moving further the defense ministry and services have carried out assessment on the possible impact on timely deliveries due to western sanctions on russia you know right now after the war became prolonged russia come under western sanction sanctions were imposed on russia because it violated the sovereignty and territorial integrity of another country okay so it very scant regard for international law that's why many country impose sanction on russia and when russia is under the internal sanction regime whether it will be able to fulfill its commitment to india became doubtful while some timeline lapses and shipping delay are possible there would not be any dent on indian uh, the army's operational preparedness along the border especially the line of actual control so this is uh, what has been told by the military indian military uh, department that without even in this situation so india will not face that big a problem but the reality is something different so there is a possibility that this will definitely be there this problem will be definitely there it will aggravate in future if this war between russia and ukraine continue and if the international community go on making its stand but rigid hard on russia so the sanction regime continue so russia will definitely face more problem and this will affect the indian military preparedness because due to the discontinuation in the supply of essential spare parts required for indian defense establishment in addition the armed forces have also made significant emergency procurement in the last two years since the stand up on the eastern ladakh and have stock of on spare and ammunition therefore there should not be any immediate urgent for spare and other equipments official noted russia has assured india that it would adhere to delivery timelines however at the war stretches on their apprehension that it could have an impact on the russian industry why uh, would be caught in replenishing the inventory okay uh, of their own uh, defense sector so you see this is where although we feel that uh, so we have adequate stock we are able to maintain it Uh, in the uh, circumstances we have uh, looking at the stand up with china for the last few years so we have uh, procured more and we have a sufficient reserve yet all these still creates doubt because so it is it is a sure shot issue that without a sian uh, timely delivery so definitely indian defense forces Will face a hardship because we are totally dependent on Russian spare parts and equipment for many of our defense requirements. Fine. So timely delivery by Russia, or the Russia committed to timely delivery, but it's not. It may not be able to stick to it because the war is entering into critical phases with each passing day. Fine. So let us discuss some of the details of the deals. What is the status of delay under uh, deal spending with Russia? The defence trade between Russia and India has crossed 15 billion since 2018. In the backdrop of some big deals, including the 4.43 billion S4 long-range air defence system, uh, 
other major contract currently under implementation are construction of four additional steel fighters uh, uh, frigates in Russia and India, license production of the uh, mango are for fish and fin stabilized discarding support uh, round the round for T90 uh, tank, other additional T90 tank and AK203 assault rifles along with the others. This is called the fifth generation tank. The fifth generation tank and the AK203 assault rifles, which are the big deals in the two sides under process right now. However, there is some delay, for instance, the delivery of second regiment of the uh, S400 delayed by the few months as also the operationalization of the agreement to the manufacture of 6.1 lakh AK203 rifles at Karua, Amit Uttar Pradesh. So, this is by the technology transfer. During the recent uh, this year's visit of the Russian Prime Minister, uh, so Russian uh, establishment of Russian senior officials, so India and Russia signed the agreement where this AK203 assault rifle will be produced in India and the Russia will give the technology. And under Make in India, it will be produced in India. There are also several big tickets deals currently under negotiation, but several of them have been deferred by the Defense Ministry as part of the review of all direct import deals. This is in conjunction with the effort to push the Make in India scheme in defense. Russia deals have also been deferred, including the one on 21 uh, MiG 29 fighter jets for the Indian Air Force, along with the upgradation of 15 and existing MiG 29 jet estimate to cost 7,480 crore and the manufacturing of 12 Su 30 uh, Mac 1 aircraft at estimated 10,730 crores by the Hindustan Aeronautic Limited, HAL, with Russian support. Another long pending deal for the manufacture of 200K to 260 utility helicopter in India also under reconsideration due to the fact that the indigenous light helicopter is now ready as well as cost concerned. So we are right now thinking to go for the indigenous helicopter production than importing it from Russia. So these are some uh, requirements some of which have been within some under reconsideration and some being delayed. Fine. Uh, in addition, the deal for 6K31 early warning helicopter and a bigger deal for the ICLA as very short range air defense system has also been deferred through the army inducted a small number of ICLA X system brought under the emergency procurement from Russia. Okay, so coming to the status of payment, so it's not that but how the payment is being made. Although even if this uh, item was applied by Russia, but how India will pay Russia uh, on the on the financial point because the clearing house function has been closed. So with Russia being shut out of the global SWIFT system, so this is the messaging and money transfer system. Okay, worldwide messaging system, interbank operation. Russia has been uh, shut out of this uh, for money transfer. India and Russia have agreed to conduct payment to the rupee ruble agreement, which several big tickets deal including the S400 under implementation. The large burden of payment to be made and the rupee ruble uh, agreement may not suffice to this. The central bank of the two countries have extensively discussed the issue and small payment have been resumed and work is on to resolve large payment. For the last two countries, Payment by the rupee ruble agreement is now not new. So earlier we uh, we also uh, deal with the rupee ruble mechanism, but paying huge amount in this rupee ruble agreement will not be beneficial to any of these. Things. For instance, for the S400 air defense system signed in October 2018 with the looming threat of US sanction under Casta under Gatsa, countering American adversary through sanction act. Two sides have worked out payment through rupee ruble exchange. Okay, we made the payment through the rupee ruble agreement. The delivery schedule got slightly delayed and the payment was tied up. However, at that time Russia was within the sub system. But right now, as Russia have been made out of the sub system, banned from it, so it will be then difficult for Russia to receive the amount because. This money transfer mechanism, global money transfer messaging 
second Egypt, the Hathbar Russia from drilling to it. The uh, while India continued to remain Russia's largest arms buyer with a major chunk of uh, legacy hardware from Russia and Soviet Union, the volume of import has reduced in the last decades. You know, uh, because we are able to find our uh, market uh, defense mar market around the world in other countries, so there is a change in Indian approach in the last few years. So we have uh, tried to reduce our over dependence on Russian military supply to India and that has also resulted in uh, some sort of uh, misunderstanding and deterioration uh, uh, relations between the two sides and Russia becoming close to Pakistan and China because so India decided to access the global defense market for its requirement but initially when no one it was willing to sell defense equipment to India. Russia was the only country which fulfilled all our requirements. So it is called, it is a friend, uh, it is a well tested and tried friend of Russia, India in the defense domain. Okay, but we have started exploring other markets, but this has not reduced our dependence on Russian things. Fine. So uh, only time will say that how far Russia is able to fulfill our defense uh, requirement and whether Russia will be able to maintain its hegemony in supplying defense equipment to India. Fine. Moving further, the, uh, this is a news about the NIA. No. NIA is our premier investigating agency. But the name, name is NIA. National Investigating Agency. NIA. The National Agency was taken over the probe into the 20 killings of Taylor uh, Kanyalal in Rajasthan, Udaipur, over the social media post of Putin. Uh, Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Uh, Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 by Rajasthan Police. Taylor Kanyalal was killed in 2017 it is the central agency mandated to investigate all offenses affecting sovereignty, security and integrity of India, foreign relations with foreign states and offenses under the statutory law enacted to implement international treaties, agreements, conventions and resolutions of the United Nations, its agency and other international organizations. This includes terror attacks that are possibly linked with crimes like smuggling of arms, drugs, affect Indian currency and infiltration from across the border. NIA was created in the post-Mumbai terror attack period and its mandate was to probe into allegations of uh, uh, that, that chances of terrorism, terror attack, terror funding, terror sympathizing and all other crimes which have a ramification on security of the country, its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The agency has the power to search, seize, arrest and prosecute those involved in such offences. Headquartered in Delhi, NI has its branches in Hyderabad, Guwahati, Kochi, Lucknow, Mumbai, Kolkata, Raipur, Jammu, Chhattisgarh, Ranchi, Chennai, Imphal, Bengaluru and Patna. But its headquarters at NIA is in Delhi, New Delhi. NIA uh, was created after the 20, uh, 26th November Mumbai terror attack in 2008. Okay. In December 2008, it introduced National Mission Agency Bill. Agency deal with only eight laws mentioned in the schedule and as a balance has been struck between the right of the states and the duty of the government to investigate. And more important cases, the bill was passed by the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. The agency came into existence in 20, uh, on 31st December 2008 and started functioning uh, in 2009. Till date, NI has registered 447 cases. Okay, what are the schedule of offenses which NI can take up? The list includes Explosive Substance Act, Atomic Energy Act, Unlawful Activity Prevention Act, Anti Hijacking Act, Suppression of Unlawful Act Against Safety of Civilian uh, Civil Aviation Act, SARP Convention Act on Terrorism, Suppression of Unlawful Act Against Safety of Maritime Navigations, and Fixed Platform on Continental Self Act. Weapons of mass destruction and the delivery system, provision of unlawful act, 
and relevant offenses under the Indian Penal Code, Arms Act, and Information Technology Act. So, there ensure this is scope is much wider and its domain is spread over. It can take up investigation to all these things, starting from the Anti Hijacking Act or that uh, exclusive act, Anti Hijacking Act to the Information Technology Act. Wide diversity of cases can be taken up by the NIA. Okay, and this is where it has to be very effective. Uh, the September 2020, the Central Airport the NIA also uh, probe offenses under the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substance Act that are connected to terror cases only. Because you, you have this uh, Narcotic Control Bureau, okay, uh, for this Narcotic Control issue, but NIA has been given where it has this link with uh, terror cases. How, uh, why did NIA's prediction? The law under which the agency operates extend to the whole of India and also apply to Indian citizens outside the country, persons in the service of the government whenever, wherever they are posted, persons on ships and aircraft registered in India, uh, wherever they may be, persons who commit a civil offence beyond India against the Indian citizen or affecting the interest of India. So, it implies it has a very wider ramification or wider jurisdiction. How does the NIA take up the probe? As per the section, uh, under section 6 of the Act, said government can refer the case pertaining to civil offences registered at any police station to the central government for NIA investigation. And once NIA take up, so said government and all other agencies will support NIA in its investigation and hand over all the documents with themselves to NIA. After assessing the tips made available, center then can direct the agency to take over the case. State government are requested to extend all assistance to NIA. Even when the central government is of the opinion that civil offences have been committed, which is required to be investigated on the act, it may show more to direct the agency to take up the case or the over the particular start probe to this particular issue. When the central government feels that this needs investigation by the NIA, looking at its importance. Well, the central government finds that a civil offence have been committed at any place outside India to which this act extends. It can also direct NIA to register case and keep up investigation. While investigating any civil offence, the agency can also investigate any other offence which the accused is alleged to have committed if the offence is connected to the civil offences. Fine. That means so its uh, scope has been widened uh, with the passing time and this has given a scope to NIA to uh, expand its uh, sphere of operation and to make it more effective in investigation in the country. Fine. So, uh, this is uh, about the premier investigating agency of the country in news. The next is on uh, the uh, impact of climate change on some specific tree species. Fine. The tree species endemic to Augusta Malai Biosphere Reserve belonging to the uh, uh, Anaka uh, Tiake family, the tree was once abound in the hills on the southern part of the uh, Arena Kabu Pass in Kerala, Kolamish, but its resident has been fast receding from the area over the years. So, there are so many reasons why this is uh, the number is going down with each passing years. Okay, that is what is being discussed in this particular uh, topic. Okay, so what is the issue here? The issue is so. Uh, the uh, Sendhuneri Wildlife Sanctuary derived its name from the Sendhu Kindru uh, species endemic to this uh, Augusta Mala uh, Bicycle region belong to the Anakatia family. The tree was once abundant in the hill of the southern parts of the uh, Arena Kabu Pass in Kerala, Kolam district, but its presence has been fast receding from the area over the years. Uh, Fluta Travaconia is very susceptible to climate change and the present condition of the species is quite bad with low regeneration performance. So, the regeneration is being affected and that way climate change has an adverse impact on it. Though there are seemingly enough number of trees, most of uh, most are not productive, generating a negative trend in this population. The majority of the tree is old with poor flowering and shooting leaves. Although the flower usually happens in January of late, the species has reported tendency to extend the process due to climate change. It is an adoption strategy to increase the chances of germination and maintaining a minimum viable population. Though the tree is also seen inside the solar forest range, 
and your pollen uh, effective pollination hardly takes place in the habitat the pollination in the habitat is facing inbreeding depletion and we have we had earlier collected uh, albino seedlings and indications of endangerment it will affect the genetic comp composition of the uh, seed medical properties the tree was widely seen in the place such as the bandimala uh, bilakuram uh, and rosemala in the past it is reported to have additional property and yield to lower blood pressure and the uh, tree arthritis its uh, hard wood is quite sturdy in deep and red colors and several tree were felled for wood during every uh, year or early area of requirements fine since the conservation major in the past we are not totally successful the forest department is launching sep sector in g a campaigning to be implemented various area coming under the uh, forest division as per the campaigning the department look to plant thousands of saplings in the gat sectors and kollam and uh, banthana mitta the officials have identified several schools where this will be grow the uh, seedlings uh, the seeds will be uh, that that nursery will be nursery will be built in the locality and they will develop the seedlings and they will be planted okay and care will be taken in the local people because without the support of the local people no such environmental uh, uh, protection program has ever been successful in india because so when the public at large are involved so the uh, chances of felling the tree or killing the animal is just again reduced because they become the protector of the particular species of animal or plants when they become the protector and protector never uh, in india uh, condition the protector never compromise understand and protect the species or the animal or plant species so at the cost to its own life that is where the credibility definitely of india fine so if this steps is taken so we may be able to improve the situation then the next so india has 540 species of faunal database okay so you see that our uh, fauna database has increased by 450 new species okay not the flora but the fauna database india added 540 species to its faunal database in 2021 taking the total number of animal species to 1 lakh uh, 32,058. The uh, country, uh, 1 lakh, uh, 1 lakh 3,250. The country also added 100, uh, 315 uh, taxa to the Indian flora during 2021, taking the number of flora uh, taxa in the country to 55,048. Of the 540 uh, faunal species, 406 are new discoveries and 134 new records to India. 13 new uh, generation were also discovered in 2021. Among the new species discovered is one species from mammals, 35 reptiles and 15 species of uh, piscus. piscus. Uh, the new mammal species discovered uh, is uh, Procedura nacrodamica, a white uh, to third screw from uh, Narcodam Island of the Andaman and Nicobar group of islands. So some peculiar species of uh, fauna has been uh, located and they have been made uh, added to the list. Uh, among the reptiles discovered in 2021, notable is Boiga white tekai or white uh, tekar cat snake from the Western Ghats in Tamil Nadu. The most number of few discovery was from the coral group of have no pet uh, an old uh, order of insects comprising of saw flies, flies, wasps, bees, and ants, in which 80 species, including one uh, new uh, genus, were discovered. Geological Survey of India, ZSI, here. It is ZSI, as called the Geological Survey of India, has contributed to 68% of the animal discovery in 2021. With 1.03 lakh species of fauna, India can, continues to be 
क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो द इंडियन thus animal species present in india including in, from insect to the wild one so their number is growing okay in state of general this is the most number of discovery were from the state of kerala to sikkim extra followed by maharashtra and andhra pradesh 2021 the floor, uh, the floral dis- discovery includes wild relatives of many potential horticultural agricultural uh, medicinal and ornamental plants such as uh, begonia Impatiens, legumes, okay, jangibars and orchids. So both flora and fauna. So new list has been added, and this gives that the diversity of India is one of the major factor for the existence of this plant and animal uh, diversity. And if protected properly, they will add to the uh, animal and plant kingdom present in India. Fine. Uh, so. Uh, Here is one more thing uh, related to the plants and use of technology for this particular purpose. Okay, if you look at this, the next news. But the next news is uh, research led by those from the National Center for Biological Science, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Bangalore, have found a new pathway that regulates nitrate absorption absorption in plants. So plants absorb nitrogen, no doubt, but so uh, this is a new methodology in darkness this can also be observed the gin uh, mad uh, s27 which regulates nitrate absorption through development and stress tolerance is actively uh, act- activated by the micro rna and mir444 therefore offers a way to control those property of the plants the researchers study uh, this mechanism Uh, in both rice and tobacco nitrogen is one of the most important micronutrients needed for development of a plant it is part of the chlorophyll amino acid and the nucleus nucleic acid fine among others it is most secured form of soil where it is mainly absorbed uh, in the form of nitrate and ammonia by the roots nitrates also uh, play a Uh, also play role in controlling genome wide uh, gene expression that is in turn uh, that is in tune uh, regulates uh, sport uh, root system architecture during times and leaf development thus while a lot of action uh, was has taken uh, in root of the uh, to absorb and convert nitrogen into useful nitrates the absorption nitrate in turn regulates plant development uh, apart from being useful as a Uh, mono macronutrients so this is what so uh, something new is being uh, done research and the presence of nitrate is important for the plant growth and also for certain production however the over use of nitrate in fertilizer for instance can lead to dumping of nitrates on the soil which leads to accumulation of nitrates in the water and soil the accumulation adds to soil and water pollution and increase contribution to greenhouse gases So which will lead to global warming, and that may put all the industrialization to the last bench. So to avoid this, there should be optimal use of nitrates. Also, since the whole process of nitrogen absorption takes uh, place in the uh, roots, a well-developed root system is needed for uh, this to take place. Uh, 
optimal the, at at one level it is known that the hormone oxygen is responsible for well developed roots across the across them fine across across all plants a number of gene are known to help such oxygen oxygen uh, production improve nitrate temperature and assimilation in plants so this is what the nitrogen fixation so use of nitrogen nitrogen fertilizer these are all being tested and brought under more regulatory mechanism uh, which uh, will be beneficial for the society in large fine Then there is a news about the solar power plants. India's largest floating solar power plant, by the way, it is significant. So because earlier other countries built solar power plants in the water body, so like floating or with stands, but India decided to venture into this. After this, it's uh, somehow command over the nuclear domain. It is trying to dominate over the nuclear panel, nuclear energy sector in future. Yes, so. solar power you see so because uh, coming to the power requirements so solar power is emerging uh, power in india as you know that this is the uh, india comes under the sunshine country india is one among the sunshine country of intern solar energy is the co founder co promoter of isa with france and india has a big potentiality in harnessing solar power we have the national solar power mission development as mission of solar power development as mission of solar power okay the 100 megawatt floating but this is a floating power solar power uh, plant it's be floating on the water body uh, project commission by the national thermal power corporation okay so uh, this as of july 2022 following the commission of this plant total commercial operation of floating solar capacity southern range has been to 270 megawatt 217 megawatt of floating solar power are that we are able to generate at present in india the 100 megawatt floating solar power plant spread over 500 acres of the ntpc reservoir at ramanundam is built with a cost of 423 crores through bharat heavy electricals limited uh, on an uh, engineering procurement and construction contract abhi okay but is floating solar plants solar plants uh, solar plants or solar farms can be either ground mounted or set on the surface of water body so those set on the surface of water body is called the floating power plants though the these floating farms are a bit more expensive than the traditional one mountain on land surface there are advantages as well at a time when large tracts of the land are unavailable floating uh, farm do not require land to be acquired for installation of photovoltaic panels they are more often as the presence of the water Uh, water underneath the helps them to keep the pool, keep cool so they also reduce water evaporation thereby saving more water for hydro power generation because the solar panels will fix in the over the water body they will be uh, able to check uh, evaporation they will uh, check this uh, um, what you called as a more efficient uh, keep the water cool and other advantages are there how these panels keep floating at ramangundam the solar modules are placed across 500 acres of the floaters manufactured with high density polyethylene material that keeps floating despite the water level fluctuations the entire spread is divided into four 40 blocks each having capacity of around 2.2 megawatt each of these blocks consists of a floating platform and, and an array of uh, 1100 11200 solar modules the floating platform consists of inverter transformer and high a uh, tension uh, circuit breaker this is the composition how it is a project unique this project is unique because all the electrical equipments from the inverter transformer high tension panels of supervisory control and data acquisitions are also set up on floating ferro cement plants the entire floating system is anchored to special high mounted uh, polyethylene ropes to be tipped tipped wait 
place in the balance reservoir bed. The, the generated power is evacuated up to the existing uh, switch yard through the 33 kb underground cables. This is how the power is generated and distributed under the mission. How does it help the environment? The solar panel floating on the water surface will reduce the evaporation rate and thereby keep help water conservation. Also, the minimum land requirement, most of the associated evacuation arrangements, available land can also put to better use, unlike the case of ground mounted solar farm, which requires large and surface area. The Raman would have uh, approximately 32.5 lakh cubic meters per year of water evaporation can be avoided. The water body underneath the solar module helps in maintaining their ambient temperature, thereby improving their efficiency and generation. Similarly, coal consumption of the 600, 1,65,000 tons can be avoided per year. Carbon dioxide emission of 211, 210, 2,10,000 uh, per year can be avoided according to NTPC if this plant became functional. Fine. So, this is, uh, so in future, so they want to improve these things and implement it properly. So, more and more solar power generated and big players like NTPC have been entering into the solar power generation. Along with that, government is encouraging uh, individual private entrepreneurs to venture into solar power production and grid connectivity. So, students come to the uh, questions for today. Let's see the questions. So, who with reference to National University of NC comes the following statement? NIA came into uh, probe of things under the Narcotic Control and Psychotropic Act. Okay. So, uh, in the amendment, fine. So, it, it, it is a statutory body constituted under the government of. Okay. Okay. It's not a statutory body. Okay. It was created by the. So, it is not a statutory body, as you all know. Statutory body means for creating them parliamentary statute is needed, but here only this is where cabinet decision. So no statutory, it is not a statutory body. Jurisdiction is con confined within the geographical territory of India, no, beyond. It is also beyond. So 2 and 3 are wrong. Okay, so the incorrect is 2 and 3. One is right. NIA can prove offenses under the narcotic control rule. Earlier it was not there, but with amendment, it has right now been given to it. Then coming to question number two, uh, India's largest floating solar plant established in which of the following state? Telangana. Fine. Uh, Chenkurinj, uh, uh, a plant species recently seen in news due to climate change, it will affect its generation of months as it is successful to climate change. It is in the southern part of Western Ghats. Fine. Then uh, Aryan Kabu Pass is often seen in news is in Western Ghats. Uh, the term mad. Uh, Mads box frequently seen in news is associated with the genetic sequence. Fine. Then consider the following K2226 utility helicopters. Okay. So, uh, K31 early warning uh, helicopters. Igla is very short range air defense system from Israel. Uh, no, P51 Mostak USA. So only two pairs are correct. Okay. So other two pairs are wrong. Then uh, India has recently agreed to partnership for green and sustainable development with German. Long degradation neutrality fund. Okay. Recently seen in news as with the UN CCD. Okay. On combating United Nations Conference on Combating. Combating desertification. Fine. A key chutney recently in new demand of the ITI was found in Odisha. Gold trench, reserve trench, refers to the credit system and by IMF to its members. So, this is also the gold reserve member in with IMF. So, friends, so these are the questions and the topic today. Keep on watching. So, for updated developments to enhance your knowledge on a regular basis. Thank you.